Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is the new year now and um, I thought I would make a video now things have calmed down. We had quite a few guests over on the, in the holiday season so it was difficult to find a time that was quiet and a room that was available basically. Um, but yeah, things are quiet now. Um, I uploaded my first video just a few days before Christmas, or was it a week before Christmas? And um, I had to make a channel name and I settled on Fibre Love, which I'm not 100% sure about to be honest. Um, but I felt like it had to reflect what the channel is about. And it is about our love of fibre and fabrics. And that's why I make videos just so that you can see different fibres and fabrics up close which is my favourite thing to do on YouTube <laughs> so I thought I was reflective but I thought I was quite, I don't know not very innovative, I d I, I'm not clever, I don't know but yeah we're sticking with that and then I thought okay fibre sounds a lot like dietary fibre which I don't love like I have a, quite a lot of IBS so um, yeah, I guess fibre is something I have. <laughs> dietary fibre anyway is something I avoid. But I thought, no, people will catch on with the title and what these videos are about anyway. So I've settled on Fibre Love, yes. And also these videos, there's quite a few that I've got to upload and there's going to be a delay in me filming them and uploading them. So just to bear that in mind. Um, okay. So we'll start off with the first fabric. I thought I would do coating fabrics today because coating fabric is the type of fabric that I initially thought wool would be. Um, well, I imagined wool to be. And I bought this coating fabric. I think these are all from Minerva. And um, they are beautifully thick. I don't know if you can see here. Yeah. Beautifully thick. And they are made for outerwear, like, you know, coats and jackets. And this one is called Wool Blend uh, Coating Fabric in Wine, in the shade Wine. It's from Minerva.com. It's 150 centimeters in width and it is a very heavyweight wool coating. And it is a blend of wool and acrylic. But the composition is unknown. These are all a blend of wool and acrylic with the composition unknown. Now, it might not look it, but I bought seven meters of this. <laughs> Which is a bit crazy, uh, thinking back on it. But um, I don't know, I had in my head that I'm going to make a, a cloak. <laughs> So I'm that generation, I'm in my uh, late 30s, so I'm that generation that grew up with Lord of the Rings and I have always wanted to have a cloak and because of um, my size and I put on weight in 2020 quite a lot, I wasn't one of those people that got fit basically, um, I had quite a lot of health issues, I felt like a cloak is quite a versatile um, garment in terms of you know sizing, can, the same cloak can fit quite a wide range of sizes I would believe. So I had in my head I wanted to do that, but I just did not have the skills back then. This was like the start of the year when I first got into it. When I first um, was practicing sewing, I just bought a few fabrics and this was on sale. And I believe it was um, at the time 6 99 per meter, so that's why I bought quite a bit of it. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful wine shade. Um, I usually leave a link for all my fabrics uh, down in the description box but I believe, because I have tried to find this, this might be out of stock now unfortunately but it's basically just to show you coating fabric yep okay so the second fabrics I bought were these two. Ah, I'll talk about this one. 
and again uh, it's from Minerva it's a wool blend and it was called wool blend coating fabric in black and plum and um, this is very soft very soft I could easily see and although it's thick and it is a coating fabric I could see this becoming something like the type of pinafores that I wear because it's not too thick that it would um, you know, be too structured because if you look at it, it's got this kind of drape because of that softness. So I think it's going to be okay becoming experimental. Um, I have more than enough. I bought this for an ultra garment, so I've bought four meters. Um, I like my winter coats long, um, but we will see. We will see. I'm not 100% sure I want to cut into this. Um, at the time when I bought these, like I said, I did not have the skills to be making something like a coat, not yet at least. Um, I have since then attempted it and I will maybe talk about that in another video where I'm showing wool and the wool I used. But yeah, so far, um, nothing too fancy and definitely nothing structured or tailored or even form-fitting. All my sewing so far has not been form-fitting. I'm happy with that. I don't like um, uh, form-fitting garments anyway on my body. But yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let me put this to the side and bring this oh, hulking beauty again a wool blend coating fabric from Minerva.com in the shade brown herringbone and um, sorry I'm sure I mentioned that this fabric down here um, was 6 dollars as well and I got 4 meters of it and it's 150 centimeters in width this is 140 cent 48 centimeters in width, sorry. Um, and again, same price, $6.99. Um, this is thicker than the um than the black and plum one. Let me open this up a bit so you can see. This is quite a bit thicker. Um I think this would look gorgeous as a blazer. It honestly would. But it is Again, I'm drawn to <laughs> I'm drawn to making pinafores so much because that is literally what I wear. That I am tempted to make one with this also. There's a pinafore that um, Audrey Hepburn wears in this movie called I think it's Funny Faces. She's it's in the library scene. It's based around the library, and I think that pinafore is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and it's a very round neck. Um, and this material, I feel like, gives me that vibes. I love the 60s type of um, look. Again, these two I think are still in stock. I mean, I did check a few weeks ago and they were. However, I'm not sure what would happen to them on over the Christmas period. So I will, again, try to leave links if I can. on the camera comes across as so, I don't know, it comes across a slightly different colour, like this shade here, the lighter shade comes off as really light, but in real life it's, the difference is not very, um, it's not very obvious, it's a very subtle difference. So, yep, and lastly, let me get, oh sorry, let me get this shade, I am in a new using a new bedroom upstairs just to be quiet because it's quite early in the morning so this last one again is from Minerva.com and this is called a grey wool blend a uh, grey wool blend coating fabric and it's one of those shades which is really difficult let me try to focus on it it comes across with slight purple slight pink the, there's a fuzzy halo to this 
And now that I'm uh, into knitting, it kind of reminds me of that halo that you get from mohair. But I am not sure what the blend is. Again, it's just a wool blend, uh, wool and acrylic. I'm sorry if this is not focusing properly. Yeah, you can get those slight pinky bits. And honestly, I am in two minds about this fabric. I have four meters of it. Again, it's under 50 centimeters, 6.99 per meter. It wasn't that expensive, but sometimes when I see it, I absolutely love it. And sometimes when I see it, I am not too keen on it. Like the shade seems so kind of muddled, and then sometimes the shade seems absolutely awesome. So yeah, this is a difficult one. But I know from all of these all of these wool coating, at least one of them is going to become a very uh, heavy lined wool coat. Well, at least I'm going to attempt that. And um, yeah, so these are just basically all the wool type uh, coatings that you get from Minerva. A lot of them are in this price range. Minerva has a few designer um, uh, designer brands like Lady Minerva and. I think they also have Liberty of London sometimes, and um, their um, obviously their wool coating is going to be expensive. But the no brand ones like these, um, I honestly think that they are really good quality, uh, very good price for a wool. Even though it's not 100% wool, it's still wool coating, um, and they are nice and warm. And this is like it looks. This is not itchy at all. None of these are really itchy. On the skin, the way some men can be. So that's really nice to kind of experience. Yes. And um, I think that's about it I've got to say about them. I'm trying to stick with just doing no more than four fabrics per video. I'm not having the video too long um, because I don't want to like upload extremely long videos. I don't think that catches anyone's attention to be honest. Maybe it does, I don't know. But yes, these are the four real fabrics. I also don't know what my favourite is. I really, I kind of, it's in between these three anyway. Um, and I don't know. This always feels very soft. It's less so. Like I would never have that against my skin. <laughs> it's not too bad to be honest, but no, I wouldn't have it against my skin. This is really nice. This black and plum. And I am quite tempted to make it into a pinafore due to the drape of it, rather than a coat. But yes, I will up this, load this video. I've noticed that some of the videos that I've shot later on I'm uploading earlier because um, I, I noticed that my a lot of my videos were shot at a time where I was getting into knitting and they're quite yarn heavy, which is not really <laughs> uh, what I wanted. It was mostly about the fabrics that I have. So I am going to see if I can uh, maybe put these videos up in between some of my uh, yarn hauls um, those are those orders that I've made so just so it breaks up a bit um, but what I'll do I will write down the date I shot the video uh, there underneath in the description box there is a function that uh, on YouTube that allows you to write that write that down and um, the date you shot the video just so people are aware of timelines But yes, I think this is all I can remember to say today. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Did I just go through all that?